Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my quick and easy crochet bowl cozy. This is a beginner friendly pattern and it is wonderful for protecting your hands from those hot bowls when you're taking them out of the microwave. Now, to follow along with today's tutorial, you're gonna need the following materials. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker. We're going to be working in continuous rounds, so that's important to have handy. And you're going to need a six millimeter or J crochet hook or whatever hook size that you need to match the gauge given in the pattern. Now, quickly, the gauge for this pattern is four, rounds one through seven equal four and goodness, 4.25 inches across the widest point. And we're gonna talk about that in the actual tutorial, I'm gonna tell you how to measure that. And you're going to need approximately 140 yards of a worsted weight cotton. Now we're going to be working with the yarn held double. So you can either have one or two balls of yarn to work with, whatever's easiest for you. And if you're not familiar with how to crochet with the yarn held double, check out this tutorial that I have here on the channel and that will cover all of that for you as well as some benefits to doing so. This bowl cozy pattern does fit the average soup or cereal bowl that measures approximately five to six inches in diameter and that's measured across the top of the bowl. Now on the uh, free written version of this pattern, you'll find some step-by-step -step instructions on how to adjust the size of this bowl cozy to fit any bowl your little heart desires. So make sure to check that out and I've linked to that in the description below. So let me clear off my workstation here and we'll get started crocheting our quick and easy bowl cozy together. To start our crochet bowl cozy, we're going to start off with our yarn held double and we're going to need to create a magic circle. To do that, I'm going to hold the yarn tails across my palm and pin it down in place with my thumb. Then grab the working end of the yarn and wrap it around the back of my fingers and bringing it around to the front to cross it over itself like this to create an X. Then I'm going to turn my hand to bring the yarn across the top of my fingers and then I'll pin it down here between my pinky and ring fingers. Now I'll grab my crochet hook and insert it under the first strand and over the second. Now because we're working with two strands at the same time, I'm just referring to them as a single strand because we're working them as if we're working with like a chunky weight yarn. So we're going to pull that second strand out and under the first. Then we're going to twist our hook to create a little X. Can you see that cross there? That's vital to our next step. So we have to have that little cross in there. Then we're going to yarn over with this yarn and we're going to pull that through the loop that we just created on our hook. There we go. And then you can remove your fingers from your magic circle and you'll see that your yarn tails are tucked inside the magic ring or magic circle and you can just pull those out of there and you're ready to start crocheting your first round. So for our first round, we're going to work six single crochets into the magic circle. We're going to insert our hook into the ring yarn over and pull up a loop. We should have two loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. That's your first single crochet completed. And then we're going to do that five more times. So back into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And that's your second stitch completed. One more time together through the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And that's our three single crochets. We're going to do this three more times. We have a total of six single crochets. All right, so I've got my six single crochets. You can count your stitches by turning your piece towards you. So you have these little Vs facing you and you can count one, two, three, four, five, and six. This first one might want to curve down and hide on you a little bit, but you wanna make sure that you're still counting them. So now that I've got my six stitches, I'm going to pull my yarn tails and pull that magic circle closed, okay? So this is what your piece should look like at this point. You're going to want to grab your stitch marker because we're going to need it in just a moment. So you want to have that handy. So now we're moving into round two. And in round two, we're going to work a single crochet increase into each stitch around. 
A single crochet increase is two single crochets working to the same stitch. So let's do this first one together, inserting your hook into that first stitch. And that might be a little tight for you, which is totally normal. If, we're, if that happens, just kind of take your time and work through getting into that first stitch. So now we're going to work two single crochets into that first stitch. So that is our first single crochet. Grab our stitch marker and place it under both loops of the V that we just created for that stitch. And that's our first stitch and we're going to move this stitch marker up to mark the first stitch of the round in every round that we work. So working back into that same first stitch, we're going to work our second single crochet and that is our first single crochet increase completed. So now we're going to work a single crochet increase into each stitch around. And remember that's two single crochets worked into the same stitch. So there's one back into the same stitch and there's two into the next. There's one, sing oh, one single crochet back into the same stitch and there's two. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing this around. At the end of the round, we should have 12 single crochet stitches. So I'll meet you back here in just a moment. All right, so we're back and we're moving into round three. We're moving that stitch marker out of the way. And in round three, we have a pattern repeat that we need to do. And I'll show you that repeat now. We're going to work one single crochet into that first stitch. And then move up our stitch marker. Then we're going to work a single crochet increase into this next stitch. There's our first, back into the same stitch. And there is our second. So that is our first repeat. We're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and two single crochets into the next. We need to do this repeat five more times. So we'll do this again together. One single crochet into the first stitch single crochet increase into the next. All right, that's our second pattern repeat. We're doing this a total of six times around. So we've now got two. So working one more together, one single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet increase into the next. And that's our next pattern repeat completed. So if you'd like to pause your video and do the remaining repeats that we need to do of one single crochet into the first stitch and two single crochets into the next. At the end of this round, we should have 18 single crochet stitches. I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Okay, I'm back and we're moving into round four. For round four, we're going to move that stitch marker out of the way and we're going to work one single crochet into that first stitch. And now we'll work a single crochet increase into this next stitch. So here's one back into the next, uh, the same stitch. Here is two. And now we have a pattern repeat that we're going to do five times. We're going to work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So here's one and two. And then we're going to do a single crochet increase into this next stitch. So that's our first pattern repeat. One single crochet into each of the first two stitches followed by a single crochet increase. We've done that once and now we need to do it four more times. So one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So there's one and two and single crochet increase into the next. All right, that's our second repeat. We'll do this again together. One single crochet in each of the first two stitches. And single crochet increase into the next stitch. All right, so if you'd like to pause your video and do the last two repeats of this around, we'll have one stitch left to be worked and I'll meet you back here in just a moment to show you how we're going to finish off this round. 
All right, so we have finished all of our repeats around and we have one stitch left to be worked here in the end of round four. And we're just going to work one single crochet into that last stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches around your piece. And now we're ready to move into round five. Let's move that stitch marker. And we're going to have another pattern repeat. And for this one, we're going to work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches, followed by a single crochet increase into the next. And we have to do that a total of six times. So let's do that first repeat together. One single crochet into the first stitch. Oops. And one single crochet into the next two stitches. All right, so that's a total of three single crochets we have so far. And then we're going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. All right, that's our first pattern repeat completed. We need to do this five more times together. So one single crochet into each of the next three piece, three stitches, goodness. And then a single crochet increase into the next stitch. That's our second repeat. Let's do this one more time together. One single crochet into each of the first three stitches. Single crochet increase into the next stitch. So now we need to do this three more times. So if you'd like to pause your video and continue to do those last three repeats of three single crochets followed by a single crochet increase, at the end of the round, you should have 30 stitches. So I'll meet you back here in just a moment to show you how we're moving into round six. All right, so I'm back and we're ready to move into round six. We're gonna move that stitch marker out of the way and we're going to start round six by placing one single crochet into each of these first two stitches. There's one and here's two. And now we're going to work a single crochet increase into this next stitch. And now we have a pattern repeat that we need to do a total of five times. And that repeat is one single crochet into each of the first four stitches followed by a single crochet increase. So let's do our first uh, repeat together. So one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. So there's one. And four. And then we're going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. And that is our first repeat. We need to do this four more times. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. followed by a single crochet increase into the next stitch. Okay, we'll do that again. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase into the next. So if you'd like to pause your video now and do the remaining two repeats of single crochet, four single crochets followed by a single crochet increase, you'll do that until there are two stitches left in the round to be worked. And I'll meet you back here to show you what we'll be doing in those last two stitches. All right, so I'm back. I've done my last two repeats in the end here of round six, and we have two stitches left to be worked. In those last two stitches, we're just going to work one single crochet into each of those remaining stitches. At the end of round six, you should have 36 single crochets. So moving into round seven, let's move our stitch marker. And then we have our pattern repeat we need to do six times around. And that pattern repeat is one single crochet into each of the first five stitches followed by a single crochet increase. So let's do that together. We'll work one single crochet into our first stitch here. Move up our marker. 
and then we'll work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. All right, so now that we have a total of five single crochets worked, we're going to work a single crochet increase into this next stitch here. All right, so that's our first repeat and we need to do this five more times. So we'll do it again together, one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. followed by a single crochet increase into this next stitch. That's our second repeat. We're going to do this one more time together. So one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then we're going to work a single crochet increase into the next stitch. So that is our third repeat done. So if you'd like to pause your video and do the remaining three repeats of one single crochet in the first five stitches, followed by a single crochet increase into the next, at the end of this row, you should have 42 stitches. So I'll meet you back here in just a moment. All right, so we're at the end of round seven and I've completed my last round, but I wanted to just touch in here about the gauge for this pattern. The gauge is measured across the widest part of our circle. Now, when you're working in a continuous round, you're going to measure from the last set of stitches that you did here. You see how there's that bump from your first stitch of the round to the last. So you want to be up on this higher side when you're measuring and you wanna measure across with a ruler or a tape measure from front loop to front loop. All right, now those front loops are the ones that are facing towards you when it's laid flat on a surface. And it's going to measure 4.75 inches across in order to match the gauge given in this pattern. All right, and gauge is important to make sure it fits the bowl as expected, but if you're, you might need to make some adjustments if it doesn't quite fit. All right, so let's move into round eight. Now rounds eight through 14 are all the same. We're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So I've worked my first stitch here, move up my stitch marker, and then you're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. And you're gonna do that for rounds eight through 14. So if you'd like to pause your video here and work rounds eight through 14, I'll meet you back here at the end of round 14 to show you how we're moving into round 15. All right, so I finished my single crochet rounds of eight, rounds eight through 14, and we're moving into round 15 now. For round 15, we're going to have another increase row to open up the top of the cozy. So we're going to move our stitch marker out of the way, and then we're going to work one single crochet into each of these first three stitches. There's our first stitch, move up our stitch marker. Here's two and three. And now we're going to do a single crochet increase into this next stitch. And now we have a pattern repeat that we need to do a total of five times. And that pattern repeat is one single crochet in each of the first six stitches. And then we're going to do a single crochet increase into the next. So let's do that together. One single crochet into each of the first six stitches. So there's one, three, and six. Now that I've got my six single crochets, I'm going to work a single crochet increase into this next stitch here. And that is our first repeat. We need to do this four more times. So again, we're doing one single crochet into each of the first six stitches. Right, now that we've got six single crochets, we're going to do a single crochet increase into this next stitch. All 
All right, and now we need to do that three more times. So if you'd like to pause your video and do three more repeats of the six single crochets followed by a single crochet increase, I'll meet you back here after you're done those repeats and show you what we'll be doing in those last three stitches of the round. All right, so I just finished my last repeat and we have three stitches left to be worked at the end of round 15 here. So we're just going to work one single crochet in each of those remaining stitches. And at the end of round 15, you should have 48 single crochet stitches. Now, before we move on to round 16, where we're going to create our cozy handles, we're going to join our first stitch to our last stitch with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker out of the way here. And then we're going to insert our hook under both loops of that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then pull that loop through the loop that's already on your hook and that is your slip stitch. So now we're going to chain up three because we're going to use a different stitch for our cozy handles to make them much wider and easier to hold on to. So we're going to yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through, that's two, and yarn over and pull through again, that's three. Now what I like to do here is place the stitch marker back into that first stitch because when we're working in joined round I, rounds, it can be confusing where your last stitch is when you're working the other way. So I always put my stitch marker into that first stitch before I turn to help make sure that I'm not losing or picking up any extra stitches. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to skip the slip stitch. We're not working into the slip stitch here. We're going to work into this very first stitch. And then we're going to play, do a double crochet into that stitch. So to do the double crochet, we're going to yarn over and insert into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Well, this, it looks <laughs> like six, but it's because we're working double stranded. So count each set of double strands as one. So we've gone, got one, two, three. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And that is your first double crochet completed. Now the, I forgot to mention that the first chain three that we created does count as our first stitch and it will count as our first stitch here and throughout the whole pattern. So now that we've done our first double, actual double crochet here, we're going to do a chain two. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. That's our chain two. And then we're going to go back and work into that same stitch. And we're going to work two more double crochets into that same stitch. So yarn over, insert into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now the reason we've done this is this, we're now turning our round bowl cozy into a square. So the, we have a square outside for our cozy handles. So this double, this two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets creates our corner. All right. So now that we have that done, we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. All right, so there's our 11 stitches. I'm just gonna double check my count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Good, I can count so we can move forward. So now that we've done our 11 double crochets, we're going to do our next corner. So that means we're going to work into this next stitch and we're going to start by working two double crochets into that first stitch. So there's one, back into the same stitch. There's two, and now we're going to chain two, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. There's our chain two, and then we're gonna work two double crochets back into that same stitch. And there is our next corner. And if you take a look at your piece, you can start to see that it, we are starting to get that square shape that we would like. So now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. 
All right, so now that I've done my 11 double crochets, it's time for our next corner. So we're going to start in this next stitch with two double crochets. There's one, back into the same stitch. There's two. Now we're going to chain two, so yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through, there's two, and then two double crochets back into that same stitch. All right, and there is our next corner. So we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. All right, so now that I have my 11 double crochets, it's time for our last corner. So we're going to put two double crochets into this next stitch. Chain two, and then two double crochets back into that same stitch. So now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the remaining 11 stitches. And so I'm going to work my last stitch here. Remember I put that stitch marker in there. If I'd kept going, it would have looked like I didn't have anywhere else to work, but that stitch marker is gonna help me out. And I'm gonna move that out of the way and work my last double crochet in there. So that's my 11th double crochet. So now that we are done, we're going to join our last stitch to our first stitch, which is our chain three with a slip stitch. So we're going to find the top of the chain three. So that for it's this set of V's right here. And I'm gonna insert my hook through the V's, yarn over and pull up a loop and pull that loop through the loop on my hook to join our work. At the end of round 16, you should have 60 stitches and these four chain two spaces. All right, so now we're going to yarn over and chain up three. One, two, three. We are not going to turn. We're going to continue working around. We're not turning. So we're going to work a double crochet into this second stitch. So we're going to insert into this stitch. Now that might be a little tricky because we're working into the top or we worked into the top of the chain three. So just use your patience and you might have to give it a little stretch from either side to open that up for you to get into there. So there's our first double crochet. And now we're going to work our first corner. So our corners are worked into our chain space here. So we're going to work two double crochets into the chain space. There's one, and here's two. And then we're going to chain two and work two double crochets back into that same chain space. So now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. Now, uh, when working into the chain spaces, one of the most common things that gets missed is this first double crochet. Because when you create a stitch, and we'll use our last example here, when we did our last double crochet, the post of the stitch is to the left or offset from the actual top of the stitch here. So if I were to work into this set of V's here, I would be missing this first stitch altogether and everything would get a little wonky. So if you don't see this, the top of this first stitch here, it might be that your corner stitches are covering it and then you can just use your fingers and pinch those stitches and kind of shift them off to the side until you can see those stitches or the uh, strands of the V on the top of the stitch. So we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So there's one. All right, so I've worked my 15 double crochets across and we are at our next chain space. So here we're going to do our next corner. And again, those corners are two double crochets worked into the chain space. So there's one and two, chain two, and then two double crochets back into the chain space. All 
All right, so now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. All right, so I've done my 15 double crochets and we're at our next chain space here. So we're gonna do our next corner. So two double crochets into the chain space. Now we'll chain two, one, two, and then two double crochets back into the chain space. So now we'll work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. All right, so now we're at our next chain space. We're going to do our corner of two double crochets into the chain space, followed by a chain two, and two double crochets back into the chain space. All right, so now we're on the last side of our bowl cozy and on this side, there's only 13 double crochets. So we're going to work one double crochet into each of our remaining 13 stitches. So if you'd like to pause your video and work one double crochet into each of those 13 stitches, I'll meet you back here at the end of the round to show you how we'll finish and finish off the handles on our bowl cozy. All right, so we're at the end of round 17 here, and what we're going to do is we're going to join our last stitch to our first stitch with a slip stitch. So I'm going to insert into the top of the chain three here, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then I'm gonna pull that loop through the loop on my hook to slip stitch join. And now we can cut our yarn, leaving a tail about four to six inches there. And then you're going to pull the yarn all the way through the last stitch. And now if you pull that tight, that slip stitch will kind of disappear inside the stitch. And then you've just got your yarn tails to weave in. And now if you take a look, we've got these nice wide handles to hold onto our bowl cozies as we take it out of the microwave. If you wanted to adjust the size of these handles, you would just continue to add those corners in the chain spaces as we talked about, and then work one double crochet in each stitch between your chain spaces. So that's it. That's how you make your quick and easy crochet bowl cozy. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. Again, if you want to adjust the size of this cozy, you can find the full instructions on how to adjust this to any size you'd like over in the free version of the written version of this pattern at theloopylam.com. And if you like other free crochet patterns, I've got tons and tons over on my blog. Check them out at theloopylam.com. Thank you so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time. <music>